Hey guys, so let's talk about encryption inside the Zabbix and uh, what I have here for today is uh, absolutely recent release of the Zabbix 4.4.3 um, just like usually CentOS 7 machine uh, in this case it's clean setup like I just installed a minute ago from the packages and uh, nothing is configured in addition so regards the encryption uh, probably the most important thing is that it is supported out of the box starting from the Zabbix uh, 3.0 if I'm not wrong. Um, you don't need to install any like uh, third-party plugins, uh, utilities or anything else to configure encryption. For the encryption you have uh, two choices. You can do that with the certificates or you can do that with the pre-shared keys. Uh, what else like so let's let's just make make a note so PS keys or certificates and what you can encrypt you can encrypt communication between the components of the Zabbix and the components are the Zabbix server Zabbix proxy and Zabbix agent that's it nothing else like this encryption that we're talking about has nothing to do with uh, web server as Apache or Nginx or database communication. If you want to encrypt the connections from your web browser to your web engine, you need to do HTTPS um, configuration on your web server. Or if you want to do the encryption between the uh, inside your database that's like absolutely a different story so this is a native functionality inside a Zabbix and it is used only to encrypt communication between the server proxy or end agent so also keep in mind that uh, Java Gateway won't work with encryption so it is not possible to encrypt communication uh, with Zabbix Java Gateway and uh, there are a couple of limitations like the private keys are stored in the plain text in the files readable by the Zabbix components which is obviously not uh, very good uh, pre-shared keys are entered in the Zabbix front and in which information is also stored in the database as a plain text and uh, which one I don't do, 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 can find it. Well, uh, long story short, there is no uh, session reuse. So each uh, communication, each connection to any of those components that uh, to which you configure the encryption will be a full handshake, which means that uh, encryption will affect the performance. Now, it's not going to be that bad that you, let's say, configure encryption and everything breaks, but it will be definitely slower than um, doing this without encryption. Uh, next, encryption can be done. Well, this actually was a surprise for me when I just opened this page before this video. Um, just time ago, like this LibreSSL, uh, as you can see, it is supported starting from the version 4.0. So back in the days, there was a choice only for three libraries, the GNU TLS, OpenSSL, which is a default one and comes inside the packages, and Embed TLS. So right now, if you're using a 4.0+, plus, you can also also use uh, libreSSL but uh, remember that OpenSSL is a default one if you install it from the packages or if you use a docker files uh, if you're compiling Zabbix from the sources then you can specify that uh, with OpenSSL as example or with GNU TLS so you have a choice to choose which library you want to use and this will be for the front and we'll get to it and here uh, just information about the uh, chippers like uh, which certificate or PSK chippers is, are supported for each supported library. So just uh, technical information. Uh, okay, let's get, uh, let's start moving. So how to actually configure this? Uh, what we're going to need is uh, our CLI and also documentation for using pre-shared keys. In this video I won't be doing the certificates because uh, I personally think that pre-shared keys are much convenient uh, even for the production environments if you really need, need to do the encryption. So just scroll down and we need this command so open as a cell uh, random hex 32 so copy this copy move to the CLI can do it like this and we need to actually move this I will 
paste it in the TMP directory, don't do that in the production, um, I'll call it like uh, encryption.key, whatever. So this is done, if we will check the TMP encryption.key, you can see that this is generated PS key that we we're going to use for the encryption. Uh, with GNU TLS it would be a bit different, but uh, not a case for us. So right now we have a file with the PS key and basically that's all we need for our encryption setup. Now I can maximize this and uh, there we go, my um, Zavix server 4.4 with just a single host, Zavix server which availability is green so it is working. Uh, items are collecting the data and the host actually is uh, right here in uh, in the same virtual machine up and running also version 4.4 or something so what if I want to configure encryption for this host what do I need to do first of all you need to edit the config file of Zabbix agent in this case so Etsy Zabbix Zabbix underscore agent D dot conf and go to the bottom of the file where you will find all the encryption related parameters so tls connect and tls accept so what's the difference and first of all what we can set here unencrypted which is default so encryption is not used uh, ps key for the keys which we'll be doing right now or the certificates but why um, why two parameters like tls connect and tls accept uh, it depends on how our items are configured like when you're creating an item you can choose type Zabbix agent or Zabbix agent active how does it means what does it mean so we'll delete this uh, if we have just Zabbix agent it means that Zabbix server is performing connection to Zabbix agent if we have Zabbix agent active it means that Zabbix agent is connecting to Zabbix server. So if we have all the items here, all of them are passive checks. So only Zabbix agent, we don't have Zabbix agent active. Then I need to change only one, the TLS accept, uh, and change it to the PS key. So uh, let's do it like this, uh, TLS accept equals PS key and uh, just for me to be able to restart the agent I need to also add the TLS connect and it can remain unencrypted so unencrypted there we go so active checks will remain just like they're right now unencrypted but all the passive checks will be using the PS key then I need to go to the bottom of the config file and change these two parameters the TLS PS key identity which I can figure like uh, on my own it is a free form string so I can figure it out and uh, let's make it like uh, YouTube and the TLS PS key file which is uh, the one that I've created uh, with this command, so open SSL ran minus hex 32 and uh, wiped it to the TMP encryption.key file. So TLS PS key identity, the TLS PS key file where the key is actually stored, and what else? TLS accept for uh, the passive checks how the server will be connecting to the agent is the PS keys. PS key and active checks will remain unencrypted. So we can save it, right quit, and restart Zabbix agent. Done. So the last part that you actually need to do is uh, open your front end. This, uh, move to the configuration hosts, find. Uh, you see, this is already not working because we're trying to connect without the encryption, but agent will accept connections only using the PS keys. So to configure that, we need to click on the Zabbix server, uh, go to the encryption tab, uh, connection to host and connection from host. So this will be for passive checks, 
the ones that we are using right now and this will be for active checks so active checks are remaining the same without encryption and connection to host for the passive checks is with a PS key and PS key identity is YouTube right remember we wrote it here in the config file can go to the bottom PS key identity YouTube so these must match and uh, the key file PS key so here you need to write not the location of the file but the actual key so cat tmp encryption dot key copy paste the string and just put it in this field click update we can reload uh, the configuration cache config cache reload on the server uh, and we can also you know, click on some oh, pick up already green so right now the communication between my Zabbix server and this agent is using encryption with the PS keys um, in addition like what about if you have the proxies absolutely same story administration proxies when you're creating it you write some name choose the mode Will it be active when the proxy is connecting to the server or passive when the server is connecting to the proxy? You have encryption tab uh, where if you specify passive, so server connects to the proxy, then uh, connections from proxy are grayed out and you cannot change anything. If the proxy is active, then this part is grayed out. And you can change that PS keys. Just don't forget to untick the no encryption and identity PS key. Uh, where to configure it in the proxy? It's absolutely the same as on the agent. So Zabbix, okay, let me install uh, Zabbix proxy MySQL. Just quickly we'll get it to show you the config. There we go. Let's see Zabbix, Zabbix proxy.conf in the bottom. TLS parameters, just like you saw in the agent. Uh, TLS connect, TLS accept, identity, and the PS key file. And by the way, it is also possible to use the same identity and also the key file, the same key between all of your components. Um, in a bonus, uh, a new thing inside is Zabbix is that now it is also possible to perform auto registration of the agents using the PS keys. So if previously it was possible, it was simply not possible, all of your actively uh, registered agents uh, were not using encryption and it was not possible to force it. So now you can use uh, active registration with the encryption support so as soon as the agent will register uh, it will use the encrypted communication so that's about it pretty simple um, configuration does not require a big effort and uh, hopefully it helped you if something is still unclear or if you want to see how to configure uh, active registration with the encryption then just let me know so thank you guys uh, click subscribe click like um, don't forget that you can also join us in a patreon page uh, the link to which you can find in the description so thank you once again and see you in the next videos